Renato had come there as a kid when it was still the fabulous city of Ubar. Before the Emperor's ravens had come to pillage ancient books from its library and destroyed it. Now the rebel council lay hidden underneath the ruins. And between here and there, all these ravens to kill. They deserved it for what they'd done to them. Material to craft a spork or, or a sword. This chest contained a Vorpal sword. I'm just kidding. Vorpal swords don't exist. to redecorate anyway. Please. the stone ravens Renato knew how the stone felt each raven he killed gave him a little jolt of pleasure but he could only kill them so fast and the pleasure wore off too quickly hopefully soon he would face a more powerful adversary yes whispered the stone Not with a bunch of mangy ravens. <laughs> These things really slice like ham.
The long stairs. So he was close to the rebel base. Nothing was on fire. So far, so good. As he reached the secret entrance, he was shocked to see Zenobia talking with the Council. She bore a white flag. Ah, the Council has betrayed you, whispered the stone. Kill them. What are you doing here, love? Bernardo demanded. Come for the brown muffins? She's worried about you, croaked the Council speaker. We all are. You're not yourself, Zenobia said. Before they could get into the rest of the intervention, he leapt at her. Unfortunately, the council speaker blocked him, so he slew her and the other council members. I'm not giving up, cried Zenobia as she darted off into the ruins. I think I just killed the entire rebel council, said Renardo. See how much power they've given you. But they were on my side, weren't they? He set sail for the fleet. There, at least, there would be enemies to kill, 